Today I am making, well I'm attempting to make a Mississippi pot roast um, that is gluten free. So I'm going to make that and serve it over mashed potatoes and then I'm also going to um, serve it alongside these french baguettes we got from the store. Um, so hopefully it turns out good. Um, it calls for um, a sauce or like a gravy packet that school has gluten in it and I can't have that because I'm a gluten intolerance and it will make me sick. So let's I'm gonna show you what I use and we'll see if it turns out good. Excuse my kitchen it's not um super clean but we'll be all right. So I uh, got a roast so hopefully this is the right kind and it should super be easy from like what's online, but because I can't have gluten, I can't get the um, Aju um, seasoning pack. My dog's barking. So what I got, excuse me, was this here, this gluten-free gravy, brown gravy mix. And I'm going to put that on here. I don't know how I feel about like not, um, about like not, um actually like seasoning it with like seasoning but this is what they say to do so that's what I'm doing but we'll see and then some ranch uh, dressing mix I think this all goes in here so oof. hopefully this turns out good it'll be sad if it doesn't it'll be a waste of a $10 roast um I, I didn't put all of this in here but I think now that I'm looking at how much ranch I put in here, I'm going to put the rest of this in here because, I don't know, that ranch flavor. And so here's how my brain figured that, <laughs> this is what I thought. I thought, okay, so I can't do an au jus because they don't have a gluten-free au jus at any of the stores I went to. Um, or when I looked it up online, I didn't see one. So I was thinking, well, what's an au jus? And I just got some beef broth that I'm going to add to this with it. And I'm just putting it in the crock pot. It's like super cold out today. It's um what's the degree? It's like 19 degrees here in Virginia, which you know we don't really do. Like I'm I live in southern Virginia and we don't really do the um that cold weather like that. So also throwing in a few of these here, which are the uh how do you say this? Oh, um, well, they just say pep mild pepperies, but I think they're called pepper, pepper something. I don't remember, but, um, these right here that normally come with pizza or on like really good Greek salads and stuff. So, yeah, so I will let you guys know how this turns out and I will see you in about four or five hours when it's done cooking and hopefully it'll be super yummy. All right, so I started this off around like um, noon, and then I cooked it on high until about three. It's now uh, five forty. My husband will be home in twenty minutes, and this is what we have. It's pretty yummy too. I just took some a bite of some. What I didn't show you guys because I forgot until I went back to um, look at the recipe again was that you're supposed to add a stick of butter to this as well. So I did add that. So pretty good. Gluten free now. Whoop whoop. I can't wait to sh insert the pictures of the final product. Actually this was really a fatty piece of um, roast. So I actually was just skimming the fat off. And that's actually how it kind of fell apart more. Was I was skimming all the fat. Because we'll need that. Alright. Yum. Gluten free. On a cold day. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good over these mashed potatoes. Can't.